Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, you will learn how to install Woomic on phone, on desktop, how to connect Woomic, and some other tips and tricks. So let's get started. First of all, in this video, we need to know how to connect the mobile phone with the PC. So you can use your mobile phone's audio mic to connect with your system. So you can use simply your mobile phone's audio mic as an audio source for your Zoom meetings or any other meetings that you have that you have to connect with your PC. So first of all, we will learn how to install Woomic in this phone, how to change Woomic settings, and how to connect Woomic with PC. To install Woomic in your device, go to Play Store and type in Woomic. Once you enter Woomic, you will see a, a first option which shows open. As I've currently installed Woomic, that's why it's showing open. If you haven't installed, it will show you install. So once you install Woomic, I will take you to the second screen which shows where the Woomic is installed. Now here you can see that Woomic is installed and I'm going to open it. Now in the current mode, this window shows that the Woomic is currently stopped. And when you click on the settings, you can see there are three, four different options. Bluetooth, USB, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Direct. You can connect all of uh, one of these four options. I prefer USB because it gives a top quality sound. You don't have to mess with any other features in this uh, settings. Just play and once you are connected with USB, you can just click on the play button on the top and you will see that it shows that started. Please connect with USB. Now you have to connect your desktop with your mobile phone. Let's see how. So now when you are done with this part. All you have to do is I'm just going to switch off my slideshow and I'm going to show you the steps you have to do now go to Google Chrome and I have already opened the settings for here the web page for you so just click on Woomic and just press enter there will be a first option search option that will pop up just click on that option once you open that option you will see a lot of text and everything instructions over here I'll make it simple for you what you can do is simply go down and all you can do is you already install this part on your phone or those who have Apple, they can install this part on from the Apple store. Now this time you have to connect, install the device on your PC. So once you click come over here to section 2.2, just click here Woomic client for Windows and you also have to download Woomic dri device driver for Windows. So once you are done with this one, you need to install these two parts. So first of all, you are going to go with the setup. Click on the setup and then install the setup and then install the device driver and then you might need to restart your PC once so that it can take effect. Once you are done with this one, I'm going to show you the main option. Once you are done, you will be able to see this kind of option which is who my client. Now as you can see, it shows that I am connected right now. That means my mobile phone is connected with my computer and all the sounds that you hear in my videos is only connected with my mobile phone's microphone and it's always clear and crisp now go to connection options you will see different options which says connect disconnect and exit currently i'm connected that's why it doesn't show connect and if i want to disconnect i can just simply click from here or just tap in in my mobile phone to disconnect now let's go to the options now we have two different options we have a lot of options here which is plain speaker Always allow to exit when aborting. Now you don't need to work on these parts. All you have to do is go here into advanced. Okay, not only in advanced also. So just I'm going to just click OK and I'm just going to cancel that. So now once you click on connection and when you press and connect, you will have an option to connect to different options. I'm going to show you how does it looks like. Now, as you can see here, it shows connected and here it shows the connected mode is USB type. Now, one more important thing is that when you are connecting with your mobile phone, you need to do something which is really important, which is called enable USB debugging on Android phone. So when you are doing with USB transport, all you have to do is you have to enable some settings in your mobile phone. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can see how you can do enable USB debugging. So once you connect with your phone to a USB or USB when you connect with a USB to your computer, you have to use USB debugging. So when you connect that, it will automatically connect your system with the Woomite. So this is one part. 
Now there is another part which is called the Wi-Fi transport. When you are connected with the Wi-Fi, make sure that your mobile phone Wi-Fi and your systems, your that means your desktops Wi-Fi are both on connected on the same Wi-Fi. Okay, so once you are done with this one, all you have to do is you have to connect and go with connection options and you have to connect from here. So right now I'm going to show you something that you will not be able to hear my voice, but I'm going to redo that and I'm going to show you how does it looks like. So I'm going to go here into connection and I'm going to disconnect from here. So now I'm manually recording the sound because I've disconnected. So now let's see, go into connection options, connect. You have four options, shows Bluetooth, USB, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Direct. I personally recommend you to connect with USB. But in Bluetooth options, you can also connect with Bluetooth. You have to scan, you have to pair your mobile phone with your desktop's uh, Bluetooth device and then you have to connect. Similarly for USB, I told you, you have to follow the tips and instructions. You need to install the debugging tool and only then you can do that. For Wi-Fi, you need to match the IP address in the WooMic with the Wi-Fi that address that you type in here. So the WooMic Wi-Fi address will be the same as your Wi-Fi that you are connected to. So these are some of the instructions. I'm going to reconnect back again. So now the system is connected again. So now we'll show you what you can do else. Really easy and simple. Now I already discussed in this video how you can connect your WooMic in phone and how can you change the settings and how you can connect WooMic with the PC. Really easy and simple. I hope you guys like this video and find it useful. You can use this kind of trick with uh, uh, as an audio source uh, for your Zoom meetings or any other meetings that you have. You won't have any problem. Uh, just uh, try it once and you will see there will be a really great improvement. You don't have to buy expensive mics anymore. Just use your mobile phone mic and that would be good enough for you to record videos. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.